Lisa's mother admitted today to failing a lie detector test, but we wanted to find out exactly what that could mean to this case. KCTV5's Jonathan Carter is live in the newsroom tonight. Jonathan? Yeah, you know, Brad, the polygraph test has always been one of those things where some people feel it means nothing, yet others feel that box gives you more information than most people realize. As the search for 10-month-old baby Lisa Irwin continues, much is being made of the revelation that the KCPD said the family was no longer cooperating with authorities. It's an allegation refuted by the family. But it was coupled with today's announcement that Lisa's mom, Deborah, failed a polygraph test. Jeff Lanza is a retired FBI agent. He says the test can't be easily dismissed. Actually, they're a great investigative tool. There are some false positives and false negatives, but they give investigators lots of good information when, uh, they, when they're focusing in on something. Dave Netz is Deborah's grandfather. He knows about the polygraph test results. My wife and I have had these discussions before about our own little kids when they were small. Oh, they fell if we hadn't done this or had they didn't, you know. You feel guilty. That's... And that and, and the fact with all the stress, I think that's why she failed it. But Lanza says it doesn't matter how you feel or what you're thinking about when you go into the test. A good polygraph examiner accounts for these uh, environmental conditions. So if someone's nervous, then they ask certain questions that give you a baseline for, uh, for that nervousness. So then uh, you're looking for something that departs from that. And that's what the examiner looks at. For Dave Nets, he's putting his faith in his family rather than results from a machine. We are firmly convinced that she's not responsible for anything, or Jeremy is, that just, God only knows who took the baby. Now, the polygraph test, again, is simply one of the tools of the investigation, just like Jeff Lanza said. But police continue to search as intently as ever for baby Lisa. Live in the newsroom, Jonathan Carter, KCTV 5 News.